So these are the strip bolt removers that I'll be using to take out this uh, oil pan bolt. So it's 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 in between 13 and 14, I think. It was probably a 14 at one point, but it's been grinded down to be more like a 13. So I'm gonna try the 14 and the 13 and see if I can get it off with these. All right, so space is pretty limited down here. I'm under the car. <clears throat> There's about 10 inches of ground clearance. But you can see how that bolt is just torn up on the edges. I wasn't able to grip it or anything, so hopefully these uh, bolt extractors will do the trick and get it out. I'm so close to being able to pull the engine now that I got the oil out. Um, there's just a couple more things I need to bolt off, a couple more things I need to get out, and then we are pretty much good to get the hoist out and take it out. So the one thing that I've been working on some is down here. You, so this right here, you can see the half shaft heading from the transmission right to the wheels. This is the pa front passenger wheel. And there's a support bracket right here, and this is connected to the engine, engine block, so I need to get that out. Uh, it's kind of hard to get to, so I decide I should take the alternator out, cause since I'm not sure that there will be clearance for it anyways. Here, let me show you. Yeah, so the, the one thing that I'm not sure will fit is the alternator. I'm pulling it out, so I figured might as well take that out too. And it's on the belt, obviously. So I took that off also. <laughs> so there's like a, there's a tensioner, a tensioner, I guess I'll call it right there. I'm not sure if that's the technical term, but you can see, you can see the belt went over this. But it doesn't. This this doesn't actually do anything, you know. Just it's another part on the loop, and so if I take that off, the belt is now loose, which it is, and I'm gonna pull it out right now. Let's see if I can. It was a lot more springy than I expected initially. something in there. Oh, look at that. There we go. So that's the belt. That's got, you know, the starter, alternator, AC compressor. It's all on this one line right off the end of the engine. So now that's off. And we can get to work. Oh, shit. I think I need that part. Oh, I'll find it. So all the bolts should be off now, so let's see if I can get this thing off. There we go. Oh, is there going to be clearance? There might not be space. Oh, there we go. Wow, it's, it's heavier than I was expecting. Wow, that's something. That's got to be at least geez, 15 pounds. I thought it was only going to be like 4 pounds, but... I guess not. So that's out. Uh, let's look at the space now. Yeah, loads of clearance now. So that'll be a pretty easy to pull out. Now that's out. The engine, that is. Um, and then, then we can do the fun part, the conversion. Okay, so I think I got the last piece off that I need to get off before I can start uh, I can connect the hoist up right here and start uh, hauling the engine out. So there was a, <coughs> a support bracket for the half shaft that connects right here on the shaft side and then in these holes there's some bolts that hold it in. Let me show you that bracket. It was pretty tough to get out. There's some bolts that aren't easily accessible. Yeah, so it's right here. Now that I got this thing off, I should be able to get the engine out, so I'm going to do that. And one other thing I f just forgot to mention is that the half shafts, um, I had to pull it out a little bit to get that mount out of place, and when I did, you can see this is all the transmission fluid uh, that came out, since there's a, there's a seal there, and the shaft itself is essentially a seal, so when you pull that out, it comes out. It's kind of funny. It smells 
It smells almost sweet. Uh, but yeah. All right, so I had every, I got everything connected, got most or maybe all the bolts out. I started to hoist it a little bit, and this side would lift up. Um, the end on the, the one engine mount, but it was still it was still sticking to the transmission. What I realized was that right down here, you can see this this kind of almost cylindrical looking thing right there. I believe that's the starter motor somewhere, one of this somewhere in here, and I think that needs to uh, come off first. So I. I'm gonna take that off and see where that gets me. So it's been a couple hours and the weather right now is pretty terrible. It's cold and rainy. But what I've realized is that I missed, I went under again, this time from this side. I put the towel down because it's really wet. And I missed uh, two bolts. They're on like the oil pan, but they're facing the opposite direction uh, as the other ones. So it kind of threw me off. Um, so I'm going to try to hoist it up now and see if it works now, see if I can get it out. So now that I got those two bolts out, I've been kind of pushing at it to the side to see if it scooches. And if you see, there's a little, there's a little gap now uh, in between, and that was not there before. So I'm making progress. Hopefully I'll be able to scooch it out enough tonight that it's, uh, that I can just lift it straight up. So last night I was having a really tough time getting the engine out. And you can see there's there's just not clearance for the um, the belt pulleys to get out, and also the uh, clutch. I forget what it's called. The clutch clutch disc. Let's leave it at that. Um, so what I did was there there might be space if I can pull this forward enough, but this uh, intake is is in the way. So I took this off. Um, and now hopefully there will be enough space so that I can shift this engine over enough so that I can just lift it right out. So it turns out that that did it. The engine is now out. Let me do a, get from the other side, the light's kind of bright. Yeah, it was a hassle, but it's out and the engine bay is now ready for a, an electric motor. So I think I'm going to order that in the next couple of days and then I can really get going on the conversion part.